Hello, Gemini. This is going to be a love reading and it's going to be a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If this doesn't resonate with you at all, check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, let's just get right into it for Gemini spirit. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Uh, this deck that I'm using is the Druid Craft Tarot deck. All right, Spirit for Gemini, please, in regards to love. This, this deck is so hard to shuffle, but I love it so much. So, Gemini Spirit, <clears throat> excuse me. For Gemini Spirit, in regards to love. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got the High Priest, which is the Hierophant, Taurus Energy for Gemini. I am going to clarify all of these. Ace of Swords, Reverse, Four of Cups, Some sort of bad communication, miscommunication, deception even is going on here. Either the communication is completely blocked. Queen of Pentacles, interesting. Either the communication is completely blocked here or um, it's not good communication. Let me move these up. Get four more. Gemini. Someone is discontent. Okay. Someone is discontent. Someone is feeling unsatisfied or uh, just bored. Someone here is looking at what they have and they're not they're not pleased with it. The Empress reversed. Death, Scorpio energy there. Yeah, something here either ended because of bad communication or not enough communication. Something ended or needs to end or needs to transform. A new beginning here. King of Cups reverse. One more for Gemini. Four of Pentacles reverse. Bottom of the deck, let's see. Justice, beautiful. Libra energy there with justice. There could be legal factors here or something legal going on. Doesn't have to be. Um, this could also just be the truth. You know, something they're coming out, uh, something being communicated, a decision being made based off of truth. We're starting off with the higher font, which tells me this has something to do with some sort of contract uh, with tradition. Uh, this could symbolize a, a married uh, person or a marriage, uh, something legally binding with the uh, high priest uh, or the higher font. Um, it could also be a, kind of um, something like religious counsel but really when i look at the higher font in love readings it's more uh some sort of contract some sort of uh societal expectation someone who is traditional follows the rules follows uh order taurus energy here with the higher font i think i already said that but i'm repeating it just in case so somebody here i feel either is in a contract of some sort or in a commitment of some sort. It could be you, Gemini, or the person that you are dealing with because this the energy could be vice versa. So flip it if it resonates more. Some sort of lack of communication or miscommunication with the Ace of Swords reverse. This can mean um, a huge deception. It can mean completely blocked communication, unclear communication. Uh, the Ace of Swords Reverse usually symbolizes destruction, so it's never really a good card to have. Something here did not go down well because of either the type of communication that was expressed 
or the lack of communication, okay? Four of Cups, someone's not happy, not, not content where they're at. Someone, uh, you know, doesn't even see other opportunities to them because they're so caught up in what isn't working out for them. Queen of Pentacles, to me, she symbolizes someone who's already in a commitment. Typically, her and the King of Pentacles, to me, are the married couple of the royal um, court. Um, so, for to, in my in my looking at this as a reader, I'm thinking someone here is married, whether it's you or the person you are interested in. Um, if they're not married, they're in a long term commitment, so still attached. Um, Queen of Pentacles tends to be um, a good partner. She is um, loyal, dedicated, um, hardworking. Um, she's good with finances. She's good with the home, setting up the home. Uh, typically symbolizes a good parent as well. She is um, secure and stable. Uh, doesn't really need much. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, by the way. I think someone here is in a... She To me, when I look at her, I'm thinking marriage. Someone here could possibly be married. Then we have the Emperor's Reverse. This is another one of my cards that symbolizes a married couple, the Emperor and the Empress. To me, they're the long-term couple. Um, typically, they tend to be in a relationship a really long time. And typically... Um, just like the Queen of Pentacles, they could have children. So the fact that I have the Empress here with the Queen of Pentacles with the Hierophant, I'm not going to say it again, but you know where my mind is going. So with the Empress reversed, this is somebody who is um, not able to manifest or create. They're investing in the wrong thing here. They are smothering, controlling. Uh, typically, the Empress reversed for me as a reader signifies a jilted lover so someone who's been um you know someone who's revengeful petty bitter because of their partner um their partner possibly is thinking about you know is emotionally not connected to them and so they get upset about about that and it just leads them to be more controlling something here was not able to be manifested something was not able to be created someone invested in the wrong thing here and with death, I feel like an end has to happen or a transformation has to take place here. I feel like if something didn't end because of this Ace of Swords reverse, it's going to end because of this Ace of Swords reverse. I see these two as kind of being connected here. Same with the Empress reverse with the higher font up here. This tells me again, uh, this is possibly a married couple that's not seeing eye to eye at this time. Or someone here was trying to manifest something, was trying to create something based off of society's expectation, based off of tradition and morals. Uh, but it, you know, it didn't work out here. Same with this Ace of Swords reverse. Someone was trying to have a beginning here, a new beginning based on truth, clarity, and honesty. And it wasn't the case. Now with this Four of Cups here, boredom... Uh, feeling discontent dissatisfied i have the king of cups reverse right under it another person here um this is cancer pisces scorpio energy the king of cups reverse uh is someone who's emotionally uh unstable or emotionally not grounded so i feel like whatever situation is happening that they're feeling discontent and dissatisfied and wondering if they've lost a good opportunity elsewhere it's messing with this king of cups head they are um, possibly not able to make clear decisions. They could be emotionally manipulative as well. They could be doing this to themselves too. Um, trying to get a handle on their emotions, not succeeding. Then we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. When it's upright, it means kind of holding back, holding on to something, not letting something go. When it's reversed, someone here either is being extremely stubborn and not letting something go, or they're ready to let something go. They're not as guarded. So I feel like, since this is under this Queen of Pentacles, my uh, initial reaction is that someone's gonna let go of a partner or wants to. They don't wanna hold on tightly anymore to this partner. 
um, even though this partner could be a good partner, right? And with the justice card at the bottom here, it could signify some sort of final decision. Someone has evaluated every angle of the situation and is ready to make a final decision based off of truth and based off of balance. They want things to be fair to them and um, just, right? That's usually what justice is about, Libra energy there. So let's clarify. I'm going to clarify with a different deck here for Gemini. Let's get some clarity spirit into this situation for Gemini. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck. I haven't used it in a while, but I started using it for personal readings and I love it. So using it now. All right, for Gemini Spirit. Tell me about this High Priest, please. Why is the High Priest here? Let's clarify for Gemini. Why is the High Priest here? Nine of Wands reversed. Someone's uh, giving up. That That's the Nine of Wands upright. They don't give up no matter how hard a situation is, no matter how exhausting, how tired they are. Oops. Hang on. Uh, they usually are also guarded um, because of what they've been through. But when it's reversed, someone's ready to let go of this. They don't want to, um, they're ready to give up on it. You know, they're over it basically with the Nine of Wands reversed. So someone here, because this is clarifying the higher font, could be ready to give up on a commitment here. Tell me more about this higher font, please. Eight of Cups reversed. Someone could be wanting to return to something else or is unable to leave. Let's see. Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups reverse? What's this Eight of Cups reverse about, please, Spirit? For Gemini. Eight of Cups reverse. Ace of Swords upright. Someone here is having, uh, seeing a situation clearly now is ready to, to clear the air, to cut out everything, anything that's in their way, to um, be honest and open and clear about the new beginning they want. Someone here um, is wanting to return, possibly, to whatever they're thinking about here in this Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Cups. And I don't think it's a mistake that she is not the Queen of Pentacles and that we have a King of Cups here on the board. So when I see uh, two, two partners, I guess, in a suit, like uh, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, in my mind, they're, they're connected. Um, the meant to be partners um, when I'm doing a reading. So I have a feeling this King of Cups is thinking about a Queen of Cups, not a Queen of Pentacles is basically what I'm trying to say there. So let's see what happened here with this Ace of Swords reverse. Spirit, what happened with this Ace of Swords reverse? Can you tell me here? For this Ace of Swords reverse, please. Ace of Swords reverse. Three of Cups. Interesting. Anything else for this Ace of Swords reverse? Three of Cups to me is, of course, the, the card about uh, coming into reunion with someone. We got the Wheel of Fortune here. A change, timing. Uh, the Three of Cups could also be a third party. Let me see if I can get one more for this Ace of uh, Swords reverse. We got the Seven of Wands. Someone here was very defensive or protective about whatever was not communicated or miscommunicated here. They were probably on the defensive and i think it had to do with a third person because we have the three of cups here maybe it wasn't the right time maybe divine timing is at play here um there's a change though once the wheel of fortune turns and i think this wheel of fortune brought about this ace of swords bottom of the deck nine of pentacles so what i'm seeing here is someone who um I think wants to be independent and free. Someone who wants to stand their ground, 
you know, someone who's going after what they want with the seven of wands. There, there must have been something that happened with this ace of swords reverse, some sort of deception or something that caused someone to be on the defensive. And it could have been a deception that had to do with a third party or a deception that had to do with coming together with someone or um, a lack of communication here that affected a third person. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, something's changing and I, I, I have it right above death. I'm telling you, there's going to be some sort of change in this situation for this person who is dealing with some sort of destruction or ending based off of lies or the communication that's not coming through. And I think it has to do with a third party. Maybe someone lied to themselves about how they truly felt about another person. And, or maybe things didn't work out with someone based off of the timing. And so with this wheel of fortune coming in now, it's like that there's a change, there's a twist here. And I feel like now this person's thinking, let me see, what's this four of cups? Tell me about this four of cups spirit. For Gemini. Tell me about this Four of Cups. The Chariot. Cancer energy here with the Chariot. What else for this Four of Cups? Please excuse my nails, guys. I've had to do them myself and I've also been anxious. And when I am, I tend to pick at my nails and my fingers and everything. So typically when I have nails on, I don't have to worry about that, but been a stressful time but um yeah just ignore my nails we got the chariot here so this is all about movement a direction choosing a direction to go down someone here is thinking about moving traveling tell me more about this four of cups six of wands reverse someone here has not had victory or has not been recognized uh, someone here possibly cared too much about what others thought of them, how others viewed them. And so I feel like now this person is not happy where they're at and they want a new direction, a new path here. Tell me more about this Four of Cups, please. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person feels alone, abandoned. They might be struggling. Uh, mentally, financially, what, whatever. There's a struggle here. There's a feeling of being left behind, abandoned. This person possibly shut out someone else and is regretting it or is distant from someone emotionally or physically. And um, I feel like they want to move towards them. They want to close that gap. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. There's our second Ace upright. I'm telling you, this person wants a new beginning. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. You can tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Let me move this down here. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please. Oops. Oh my gosh, Ace of Wands. Let's see. What else for this? Queen of Pentacles. So that second ace wanted to come out. Oh, tower. See what I'm saying? Something's gonna be disruptive here with this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this tower is necessary for a new beginning here. And I always say that in my readings because it's true. Um, you know, change doesn't just happen on its own. Change can be uncomfortable. Change causes action. So yeah, a tower moment is definitely necessary a lot of the time to have a new beginning. Tell me more for this Queen of Pentacles before I tell you guys what I'm seeing. Tell me more, please, for this Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. 
I feel like someone here is really thinking about their investment in this Queen of Pentacles. And again, remember, I was talking about this Empress Reverse down here. It could be that this is the person this that this could be you, Gemini, and someone wants to have a new beginning with a Queen of Pentacles. Rather than that Queen of Cups that I saw at the bottom, maybe they're already with a Queen of Cups and they want to go after a Queen of Pentacles. We'll see what else happens down here. But what I'm seeing here is someone has been looking at the past in a part with a partner. Someone has been evaluating the past with a partner right now. And they're wondering if they invested in the right thing, if they put in the effort in the right person. And for some reason, there's going to be some sort of shakeup here with the tower um, that's going to bring about a new beginning. Bottom of the deck here. King of Pentacles reversed. Wow. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Remember what I was saying about my partnerships? You know? We usually, too, when I have one of the suit reverse and the other one like the, the respective partner upright so like in this instance i have the king of pentacles reverse and the queen of pentacles upright this is a partnership that does not see eye to eye that's not working something's not working with this queen of pentacles and i sense that from the beginning sorry i keep hitting the tripod tell me about this uh empress reverse please tell me about this empress reverse i have a feeling it's going to be a long reading so let me Try to hustle here. Five of Wands, reverse, the sun. There could be children involved here. The sun came out upright. Let me move it. There could be children involved here. Someone's over the drama, over the, the conflict with this Empress. Tell me more for this Empress reverse, please. Yep, judgment. Someone's having a wake-up call. Judgment and justice are here. That's not a coincidence. Judgment is all about making a judgment call. Same with justice. Someone here is going after their happiness, going after or seeing clearly with the sun. The sun shines on everything and it illuminates everything. There's clarity once the sun kind of like uh, sheds light on every dark corner or, you know, something like that. Think of uh, the sun being an illuminator so i feel like someone's seeing something clearly here with an empress reverse something that wasn't able to be created there was possibly just drama and arguments and someone's having a wake-up call an epiphany wanting a second chance possibly with this third person over here bottom of the deck page of pentacles um so yeah definitely this to me tells me that this is someone going after something new because the Page of Pentacles is like the lowest offer, you know, the most like early offer you can make someone. This is like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Would you like to go out for coffee? You know, this is not like, here's an engagement ring. It's just, that's not how it works. So I'm getting the sense that this is not someone who's making an offer to a committed partner. That's what I'm trying to get at. All right, tell me about death. Tell me about death, please. Tell me about death. What's changing, ending, transforming? What's going on here? The moon reverse, some sort of um, reveal here. Yeah, and it has to do with this empress. There's the empress again upright. Some Something here was uh, a secret or an illusion is being revealed, possibly with the sun here, sun and moon. Um, so with the moon reverse, there is something here that was not as it seemed and someone's seeing it clearly. And it has to do with this empress. Tell me more for death. Someone's probably going to end something with an empress or a partner here. I see it. Tell me more about death, please. Five of swords reverse. Yeah, there's something here that wasn't... Someone's overcoming this, wants to change. Someone wants to change. All of this fighting this, you know, the, the deceptive energy here. This Five of Swords upright is somebody who is deceptive, who tries to take advantage of a situation, who wants to win at all costs. When it's reversed, someone's overcoming this. Someone wasn't able to win at all costs. King of Swords reverse. My goodness, this is not a this was not a good like this was a terrible fight. This possible this fight caused a huge loss. Either someone saw this Empress clearly 
or someone saw something clearly here. And I feel like this person that dealt with this Empress and this Five of Swords energy was very defensive, was thinking, I got to protect myself. I got to do what's right for me, you know? Oops. Let's see this King of Cups reverse. What's this about? What's this King of Cups reverse? King of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups. This King of Cups reverse might want to apologize. But I think in their mind, their emotions are messing with them. They're not feeling very stable right now. They might not even trust how they feel. Tell me more about this King of Cups reverse. Yeah, see, they're going back and forth. They don't know if they should express themselves, if they should apologize. Tell me more. Four of Swords. This person is really thinking about what to do. Um, yeah, they're possibly healing from a very painful situation here with the Three of Swords. And so all they're doing right now is thinking and planning and trying to decide what their next move is. Um, and I, I have the, I just for some reason I'm picking up that this person wants to get a hold of their emotion before emotions before they make this this offer down here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. This is about letting go, not being so guarded or unable to let go. Let's see which one it is. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles reverse, please, for Gemini. Four of Pentacles reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, something here was not balanced, not fair to someone. Again, with the Justice card, someone was giving more than the other person. Tell me more about Four of Pentacles reverse. There's the King of Pentacles reverse. That for some of you, there's more than one person here that you're dealing with, Gemini. I have two kings, two... Um, actually, yeah, I have two kings that came up. Um, I have the Empress here that came out twice. So you might be dealing with two different people. This could also just be that this, again, this partnership is not seeing eye to eye. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles reverse. Yep. Ten of Wands reverse. This King of Pentacles is dropping a burden, is letting go. This is literally dropping a burden here with the Ten of Wands because you cannot hold on to it anymore. No matter how hard you try, you cannot keep holding on. Bottom of the deck, another Ace. Ace of Cups down here. Someone's dropping a burden to go after new love. Someone's disrupting a partnership to go after a new beginning. Someone here is leaving, possibly returning to someone else based off of a new beginning they want over here. I think it's the same person doing all of these things. And I think it's, if, it's, if this isn't you, Gemini, this is your person. And again, it's almost like this sense of I'm giving up. I'm not going to keep fighting. I'm choosing a new direction. I'm dropping this burden. You know, I don't know how to do this right now, but I'm going to go after whatever it makes is fair to me and balances out the situation that's been unbalanced for me. It's not fair to me with the Five of Swords. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo. What other signs do I see here? I also have Taurus as well. But the sign is not important in Libra. But the sign is not important. It's more the energy in the message. So for example, you know, I don't know why I'm going into this. But for example, let's say the Taurus is here. Well, this might not be a Taurus, but it might be someone that is very traditional. You know, someone who works in a traditional office or something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be someone with Taurus in their chart. Uh, anyways, 
So that's what I see here so far, Gemini. This is what I'm seeing, someone choosing a new direction, someone wanting a new beginning for themselves, someone getting out of some sort of partnership due to a revelation, which is something that's very common right now with all the signs. I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around for this reading. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got some uh, clarity into your situation. If it didn't resonate, check out your other placements. Thanks again to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.